Hello and welcome to another video where today I'll be taking you through how to calculate a stepped cost. Now firstly, what is a stepped cost? Well, a stepped cost is a form of fixed cost in the sense that it does not move directly in proportion with the number of units that are made. A step cost is one which will stay constant until a certain activity level is reached and then jump up. This will again remain constant until reaching the next level of activity before jumping up again. If we were to look at this in a graphical format, it would look something like this. So we can see that the cost jumps up at certain intervals of activity. All we need to calculate a step cost is the total activity level, the activity per step, and the cost per step. Let's have a look at an example. Hawkins Limited produces product X. This needs to be stored in a warehouse and you have been informed that the storage cost is stepped. For every 4,000 units, the storage fee will be two and a half thousand pounds per month. Hawkins plans on producing and storing 34,000 units of product X per month. How much would the storage fees be per month? Well, we know for every 4,000 units, the cost will increase. If Hawkins Limited plans to store 34,000 units a month, we first need to calculate how many steps that would be. To do this, we need to take the activity level of 34,000 units and divide this by the units per step, which in this example is 4,000. This gives us 8.5 steps. Now you can't have a partial step. Once it crosses into the band, the business must pay for the entire band regardless of whether you go one unit over or 3,999 over. We therefore always round up the number of steps to the next whole number. And in this example, that 8.5 would go to nine. Now that we know how many steps are required, all we need to do is multiply this by the cost per step. This would therefore be nine steps times 2,500 equals 22,500 in storage fees per month. In this previous example, we've been given all the information that we need, but what happens if we haven't been provided with the cost per step? And instead, the only information available is the total step cost and the activity level for each step. Let's have a look at a further example to see how this would work. Hawkins Limited produced another product, product K. You've been provided with a total factory rental related to this product and inform that this is a stepped cost based upon the total number of units produced. The total factory cost for this year is currently £120,000 and the cost increases for every 15,000 units that are produced. The business currently produces 80,000 units a year but has planned production for the following year of 105,000 units. How much would the total factory cost be if the business were to produce the 105,000 units? Now in this example we do not have the cost per step so before we can calculate the cost for 105,000 units, we first need to calculate that cost per step. To do this, we need to take our current production of 80,000 and divide it by the number of units per step of 15,000. This gives us the number of steps of 5.33. As we said earlier, we can't have a partial step, therefore we always round up to the next step, and in this case, that would therefore be six. We now know that there are six steps that make up the total factory cost of 120,000. To get the cost per step, we take our 120,000 and divide it by the six steps to give us a cost per step of 20,000 pounds. We can now use this to calculate the factory cost for the planned production in the new year. First off, calculate the number of steps when producing 105,000 units. That would be 105,000 divided by 15,000 units to give us seven steps. And as this is exact, there's no rounding required. We then multiply the seven steps by the cost per step, in this case 20,000, to give us a revised factory cost for producing 105,000 units of 140,000 pounds. And that wraps up this video on calculating step costs. I hope you found it useful. Remember, if you have, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more accounting videos. That's it for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.